One of the features that I promised you when I introduced scientific notation is that it was going to make it easy to compare numbers. And in fact, it does. Let's think about how. So I'm going to write some numbers in decimal notation, where it's super obvious which one is bigger. And then I'm going to rewrite them in scientific notation, and we'll see how we can recognize that. So looking at these two numbers, 375 trillion versus 92,861,000, we can tell just by looking that the first number is bigger. All right, 375 trillion. I don't care how many millions you've got, right? Let's write those in scientific notation now and see if we can decide which one's bigger in scientific notation. So, most significant digit, least significant digit, so I'll copy the significant digits, 3, 7, 5, put in the decimal point, and then the magnitude is 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. 3.75 times 10 to the 14th. For the other number, most significant digit, least significant digit, 9.2861 times, then the magnitude is 0, 3, 6, 7, 10 to the 7th. Okay, looking at these numbers then, how do we know that the first one is bigger? Well, it has a larger magnitude. Now there's only one thing tricky about remembering that the greater magnitude is the greater number, and that is that we have to remember that positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. So that means that if we compare, say, 6.1 times 10 to the negative 6, versus 3.2 times 10 to the second, right? 2 is greater than negative 6. And writing these in decimal notation, right? So 3, 2, move the decimal point two places to the right. That's 320. 6, 1, move the decimal point six places to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, it's pretty clear that this is the bigger number. And we can get into a little bit of trouble if we don't remember our ordering for negative numbers. Right, if I had my 6.1 times 10 to the negative 6 again versus 7.3 times 10 to the negative 2, right, this stays the same in decimal notation. This one, 7, 3, move the decimal point two places to the left. Again, it's really easy to see that this is the bigger number. And negative 2 is still greater than negative 6. Okay, so, all right, what if comparing the magnitude doesn't help us? What if we have these two numbers? What if we have 3.7 times 10 to the fourth versus 9.3 times 10 to the fourth? Here you see the magnitudes are the same. Well, let's see. All right, three, seven. I want to move the decimal point one, two, three, four places to the right. Fill in the empty spaces with zeros. That's 37,000. Nine, three, 
one, two, three, four places to the right. That's 93,000. Which one's bigger? 93,000. In general, then, if the magnitudes are the same, then we should compare the significance. Notice, don't compare the significance if they have different magnitudes. With different magnitudes, it doesn't matter which significant is bigger. The magnitude tells you everything you need to know. But if the magnitudes are the same, then compare the significance to decide which one is greater.